Hello, I'm Lars with A-Rex Hooks and uh, today I'll show you how to tie uh, the elk hair caddis. Caddis are a very important food item for trout and grayling and there are in fact many many more species of caddis than there are mayflies. So a good caddis imitation is important to have in your box. One of the best and one of the easiest and fastest to tie is Altroth's classic elk hair caddis that was uh, invented all the way back in the 1950s. Let's have a look at how to tie it. I'm tying this one on uh, an Airex uh, FW501. Uh, in a size 12, but you can uh, of course uh, choose the size to match what's uh, in your rivers. I start with the tying thread behind the eye and I come back uh, two or three millimeters. And leave, a, leave a good space there for the for the LK wing. Now I'm going to tie on uh, the the palmer haggle first and uh, a good way to find the size of your haggle instead of just uh, plucking off uh, feathers is to just pick out a feather from the neck and just try it on for size. I think that one looks maybe just a little bit too short. That one looks better. Uh, you don't want um, too long a haggle because um, the fly will be a little bit more uh, unstable uh, underwater. So I, I pull back the fibers and I bear a little bit of the stem and then I tie it on with the point of the feather over the hook eye and I tie it on with the, with the shiny side towards you and just tie down the feather. And now for the dubbing. You don't have to be too shy with the dubbing because uh, caddis have uh, fairly fat bodies. Um, but of course, don't overdo it. And now I, I dub backwards, uh, ending with thread uh, behind or at the back of the body because then I can use my thread as a rib to secure the hackle. I just end the body uh, right at the beginning of the bend. Uh, then I grab my hackle pliers. Start with a couple of turns right at the front here and then palmer backwards. And how dense you want the hackle is up to yourself. Just sort of chase uh, the hackle around with the tying thread and then wiggle it through trying to avoid catching too many fibers on the way and when you reach the front just sneak it through those first two turns of hackle. If there's anything sticking forward just get it under control. Of course uh, clip off uh, the back part here. Don't clip it too close, leave maybe a millimeter or two sticking out uh, that way you avoid the hackle being ripped out. And now I'll just make a little bit of a wider thread base for the wing. I'm using very tight thread turns here to make a solid base. Now the wing of course is elk, but you can use, you can use lots of different uh, deer hairs. I separate small bunch. You can always adjust uh, later. There is always going to be a little bit of underfur and I just use a comb to get rid of that. Um, otherwise it's almost impossible to stack. Just if there's anything left just use your fingers to get it out. Put the thread in your hair stacker. 
tap it a few times on the desk. Keep the hair stacker horizontal and expose. You can see the nicely aligned, aligned tips and just grab that. Transfer it to your other hand. And now just, just let the, the tip of the hair maybe extend just slightly past the hook bend. Change grip. Come over with your tying thread. Now don't apply too much pressure here because all kinds of deer hair will, as you can see already here, uh, and I'm not putting on very much pressure, they will flare. If they flare too much, you'll end up uh, with a wing that it looks fairly out of control. So I'm just using some quite light turns of thread. And then to secure the wing, I lift up the butt ends here, and now I can put on pressure, as you can see, four or five times coming through. And that's almost the time done. Just a quick whip finish. Tighten the knot. And remove the thread. Now just separate the butt ends here. You'll never get all of them uh, in one go. Cut them off. Following the angle of the hook eye and always be a little bit of cleanup afterwards. If the wing is tilted, you can manipulate it into place. And that's it. Altroth's Elkhair Caddis.